Two hundred miles at nightfall. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. But last time on a pop uh, it, it's a on, bit just an on, ongoing apocalypse. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We did a lot. <laughs> oh yeah. Section. So um, here here's the two things I want to do. So before, well, well, we 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 are beginning this session, but the fruit thing is going to do. So first thing, as you noticed, I didn't put the scrolls down, and that's because if you if all of you roll a higher con check, you at least get to pick what scroll you want. If it's not, then it's just going to be like a like a smoke bomb or a smoke a smoke scroll or invisible scroll. Got it. So low level, low level versus high level magic. Yeah. So okay. So um, would this be a, a spellcraft check? Spellcraft arcana. Uh, my spellcraft uh, higher. So I thought you said Eight. con check. Yeah, that's what I thought. Twenty nine. I rolled pick, pretty good. Pick pick what scroll you want. Uh, oh, okay. What what is the upper limit? Your spell, your spell, your 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 spell. Uh, the highest spell you have. Uh, okay, uh, remember, I am um, a, a partial caster, so I'm a little weird like that. Um, so is it, the highest would... level spells you have currently. That's why I meant to say. Yeah, yeah. Because remember, I I have the, I have the system where I only have four levels of spells. So they kind of break and go a different direction. So well, what should I just uh, treat it as up to a fourth level wizard spell list? Mm-hmm. Okay, I can do that because we're eighth level characters. So I think eight. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, Wait, yeah. we're eighth level Not characters. Bad. I thought we we're seventh. Oh, seventh. My bad. Okay, that would be a third level spell. My bad. Brain no worky. So yeah. So oh yeah yeah. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Actually, no. Sorry, a wizard does get access to fourth level spells at seventh level. My bad. So yeah, it's basically double minus one. Like, yeah. Uh, but, um, you get an invisibility scroll at least. <laughs> hey, uh, sorry. I'm gonna do some of those beforehand or before I get into the scroll thing. Uh, when I'm clicking it into this tavern, do I also get an additional plus two because I have workers helping me? Um, no. Okay, so it's just 15. It would have been 17, if not. I want to see how popular Enzo's place can be after this. 24. Not that bad, not that good. Pick a spell. Scrap. Yes. Pick your spell. Oh no, no, no! That's that's cooking. Oh. I'm at Enzo's. Yeah, yeah. I'm at en- that's why I asked the cooking thing first. So I'm just at Enzo's. I'm just cooking a food just to help raise our business more. <laughs> so if if I didn't, if I would have got a plus two from the helpers, it would have been a plus seventeen. Yes. Nice. I already get a plus thirteen. I already get, and I get a plus two from Masterwork Tools. All right, so. I have to roll d20. What is it I have to I have to roll with Arcana? I was either at Knowledge Arcana or Use Magical Device. Mm-hmm. No, no, uh, uh, Spellcraft. Spellcraft. Knowledge. Uh, I do not I'm... have Knowledge Arcana like uh, clicked on. I'm going to join the local. I'm going to go with Invisibility Greater, because that is a fourth level spell for a wizard. Uh, I think I just have to roll a simple d20, because I don't have any... Yeah, I think I just have to roll a d20. So I'm, I'm looking, and I don't have any bonuses to my Arcana, because mm-hmm. I chose Knowledge for Engineering and Local. Yep. So... Yeah, a uh, simple D20. A 15! Uh, you get the invisibility scroll. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, uh, what level is this spell? Uh, now i got to do a whole uh, category for spells now. 
Uh, let's just put it over here. Eh, it works at any level you want to. So you said invincibility? Invisibility. Invisibility, invisibility yes. I knew there was a scroll of invincibility. Oh, we'll just hell use no. it me and then invisibility. just leave it in Invisible scroll. Uh, what level would that be? Uh, level three. Would that be it, right, Ty? A level three scroll? If somebody's not capable yeah. of casting spells, can they even use scrolls? Yeah, I, I don't think I can cast spells. <laughs> I'm just really good at being sneaky, so do I even want the scroll? <laughs> you can give it away or sell it. Uh, or get, I'll give it to one of your troops. Uh, um, do, any of this, do any of my snipers are able to use magic well, or use a scroll. Using scrolls is interesting in Pathfinder. Pathfinder. Because yeah, I'm a Slayer gunslinger. I don't really use spells. Yeah, um, well, there are ways to... Here we go. Okay. Um, do Activation. Um, here we go. Okay. The writing on a scroll must be deciphered. This requires the read magic spell, which... Yeah, or a spell craft of DC plus spell level 20. Activating the spell um, requires us to be able to see and read and write on the scroll. Activating a, um, a scroll spell requires no material component focus. Um, if a user... Okay. Hold on. Determine effect. Okay, here we go. There's a way to trick it. I know that much. I think it's... But it requires a really high use magic device check. Yeah, I probably don't want to use it. I mean, I'm already good stealth-wise. So if I can use this invisible scroll, then that's going to really increase my stealth. I mean, if, you well, it's one it on, if you can cast it on me, then that would be Okay, useful. here we go. Here we go. Okay. You can use Use Magic Device to activate a magic item, like a scroll, but it's 20 plus the caster level of the scroll. So the what does that level. mean? Yeah, what is... Uh, um, depending... Okay, an invisibility spell, um, where we always assume it's the lowest, it's a second level spell, which I believe requires third level wizard? Uh, yeah, yeah, you need to be at least yeah. a third level wizard for yeah. level two spells. Yeah, so yeah, and it's assumed that all scrolls are set to the lowest level unless you specifically ask for them to be higher. So, uh, I, that is... I'm that not is, even a wizard. Yeah, yeah that is... Um, that is... Um, that means the DC to activate a basic invisibility scroll is a 23 use magic device check. <laughs> and I don't get any bonuses. I yeah. have an 8 in it. Yeah, I'm gonna tie any of my any of my sharpshooters that I'm training, do any of them have... You have a couple, you have a couple of people that could use magic. I want to hold a competition to see who's gonna get it. Yeah, oh boy. Um, Mittens did throw a roll in. But since she only rolled a three, does she kind of get bored trying to look for a really colorful looking spell and just goes off elsewhere? Or yeah, just she, just, something colorful? she just drifts off somewhere. <laughs> oh, and also, gentlemen, if if we were talking about the loot that we got from the cave from the Black Hand, I call all the poisons and the darts. Sounds good. I don't care. Yeah, I, <laughs> well. I would say that the poisons, we should figure out what they're made of before we start using them, so we can then produce more of them. Well, I, I will uh, give you... Uh, I will have you... Speaking of fifth, um... I do know most of the poisons, because my background um, is assassin. I about to say, speaking of this, um, Scrap, roll me, uh... Roll me a knowledge check or something like that to see if we can remember, because I, I said in the previous main... or. I said earlier, so I say now that I'm done recording this, you, you look in the book and realize that three of the three of the card carrying members of the Black Hand are missing. Off on other uh, jobs. So see if you can remember what, what what their specialties are. Uh will that be a knowledge what was it again? Uh basic basic knowledge trick. Basic knowledge. 
So that'd be a D20 plus 2? Yeah, that would be a plus 2. A 17. Alright! You know what all three... You know what all three of the specialties are. Oh, what? boy. Um, Alright. Two of them are actually twins, brothers and sisters, but they can actually, like... But... But thanks to some clever clothes, they could, you could, they could swap, they could swap to uh, between themselves. Uh, one, uh, one, one, one of them. Let's just say this: you're the stripper. Just the stripper is your training. You want them to be like her because she does have, obviously, a lower level sniper rifle as well as longbow. So the, okay, so the the, the, the first the, one is the twin brother. Is a ma is a master of cooking and poisons, so most likely most of his poisons know. come from her, come from him. Uh, are they like older? Are they older than me or younger than me? Younger than you. Oh, I probably trained them. Oh, the the, oh, the, I, the they grow up so fast. The the last one. Well, you can't exactly call him a uh, assassin. He's a, he assassins through blood force trauma of his life, and it's just a big out, big ass orc that just walks up to tar. You remember the the, okay, ba so the Batman Elder Five comet when Elder Five just walked up to his uh, to a Bruce Wayne and shot him in the face? Yeah, that that's him. Except it's just it's a big ass orc with a scythe just. Walk up, so, slice the heads off, and leave. I, an assassin kills uh, without leaving any witnesses, so... Does it still count as assassination if you just literally kill everybody? Uh... Let's uh, just say there's no witnesses, or no one, or no one's going to tell on him because they're all, they're all frightening of him. <laughs> so, okay, so... The orc... I... Have I ran into him before... Oh, like yeah, he's jobs. definitely he's definitely older than you. Pretty much the same age as the um as a leader. Uh, so I've had some. Uh, uh, I'm gonna am gonna call for William. Is William here? William. I'm probably in my workshop. Um, you know, I, I've, got, I've been I've been I, well, or more specifically, probably you know overseeing more production of a weaponry at the castle. All right, I'm gonna go to his workshop first. Just William, you there? It's scrap. <laughs> the, the the door. He would open the door, and you would see him wearing, you know, gas mask. Uh, then he'll kind of lift uh, it up and go, "What you need?" Well, I uh, figured out who the three missing people are in the book. Okay. Uh, two of them I know because I prob I most likely trained them. Actually, no, I do remember, because I did train them. Uh, they are twins. Brother and sister. Sister, really good with a sniper. She, she's a crack shot. Probably even a little bit better than me. And the good. brother. Uh, cooking and poison. Got it, so they're your placements. Yes. <laughs> I trained them, and they were very good. I do remember training them. I, I'm 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 kind of happy that they're alive, but also I hope that they could still. Hopefully, I could see if they could work for us. Mm, we'll figure it out. And um, I don't know if you call the last guy an assassin. He's the same age as the leader we captured, except he's an orc, and his level of assassination is just: I walk up to the target, I kill my target with scythe, kill all witnesses. Or just kill target. Everyone's scared because they don't want to report me and walk away. So a, a pure brute. Yes, a pure brute that decided to be an assassin. It's weird. I re I worked with him before. He's interesting. He doesn't take planning. He just like he sees who his target is, walks up to his target, kills his target, and if there's any witnesses or thinks anyone's gonna tell on him or report him. They're also dead. I remember our target... Oh, God. We had a target in a 
in a dining room. He had several high class guests, and I was the cook. And he decided just to walk into the room, see the target, and literally held him in front of everyone. Let's just say that golden hall was painted red. He mm. killed the target. It's just we'll 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 deal with him when it comes to it. The other two, I'm more worried about. I could try to get them on our side because I've known them and I've helped them out. So, but the orc dude, mm. yeah, I, I I don't know about that one, chief. I could try to talk to him, but I don't really have much of a cordial we'll, relationship. Don't, don't worry about him. We'll deal with him if he becomes a problem. He doesn't sound that uh, smart. Uh, yeah, but he's somewhat effective, I guess. Tough bastard, I'll say that much. Uh, oh, and also, uh, I'm gonna produce, I'm gonna grab my, a little, like, little, uh, sack that I have. And like in here, I have carefully. These are carefully stored, and they won't break. All the different types of poisons that we got from the leader, uh, I marked them red as very poisonous, like red as the most dangerous poison, to light orange being like it'll kill you, but it won't be painless. I'll yeah. He'll very carefully take the sack and bring it into his workshop and place it into his uh, secured alchemical uh, one of these secured alchemical vault um, safes I'll I do. I, I'll do some reverse engineering on these see if we can't make more of it yep I definitely worked with many of those poisons before they are let me tell you they are effective remember the one I told you about that you'll drop dead in two seconds if it touches the skin yeah mm -hmm. I found more of those oh, very good. expensive shit oh good so we'll if you can't it, try we'll to find reverse engineer We'll try to find a way to use them in bullets. Oh. Oh. Of course, I'm also... If you can, can I also keep the darts? I kind of like them. Be, be careful with them. Oh, I... You're saying that like I've never used darts before in assassination. I tell everyone but, to be careful. Ah, true. Don't worry, I have him safely we stored. Have, we, I have limited man, we have limited manpower. <laughs> so we can't, we can't afford to lose anyone. Oh, don't worry. They're, they're, they're like kept super safe in a chest that's locked up and that is basically held down to the floor to where it's not going to tip over. And even if I do take a dart, uh, I make sure to wear proper equipment. Uh, even a little poke is enough to kill, so... Um, yeah, I wear heavy-duty gloves. Mostly just to clean them every couple of months, so. Okay, so Alrighty. we've got, we've yeah, got just... various projects to reverse engineer a uh, bunch of poisons now, so for now... Yes, I'll try okay. to see about the twins, see if I can hopefully get them on our side. I, I did train them myself, so maybe we can have them join us. I mean, I was able to get the leader of the Black Hand to somewhat help you out. Well, I don't know how that's going for you, but it could work. All right. Right well, now, you don't know go what jobs they're on, and yeah. even even yeah, I'll, I'll give you this one for free, Scrap. The only the only way you have to do the job is that to get into um Keyless Ma Keyless Mansion as an a a the leader of Mansion. So their job is the mansion. No, no, right? no. That's um, the those books no. those books are in her mansion. Oh. Yeah. So, I don't know what assignments they're in. I could try to talk to the Black Hand leader, see if maybe she knows, but I'm doubting she'll remember. Well, one way to find out. <laughs> well, well, William, uh, you. Stay safe. I'm going to try to talk to the Black Hand leader, see if she knows where the twins are. And the Best orc. Alright, All right, but before that, Ty, I'm going to I'm going to do my signature cooking. I'm going to... Yeah, because obviously you can see you have a couple new, gu new guests over here around as yep. well. 
How does a thirty sound for food? Uh, not her. only, not only does the prince and princess and their respective um, acquaintances love it, but so is the guest. As um, Mittens runs up to Enzo, and Enzo runs to the back. <laughs> no, there's a reason she runs to the back, because oh. here comes her real. His real asshole walk into the bar. <laughs> oh, fuck. Mittens Mitt is pretty much her... She, she trained men to be her only warning system. <laughs> uh, Gear, Gearman 1, this is Gearman 2. What is it? Royal Dickhead's here. Enzo's the Tavern. King. The King? Copy, I'm in the kitchen. Just be advised. Yeah. I'll get down there quickly. Enzo's in the back. She's. She. she hopefully she first case. Oh shit! And I'm gonna hurry, hurry uh, put her away and uh. Oh, just get the food out for the. Yeah. For the king and the his bodyguards and. Right. Let's do my. Usual. Ah, good evening, your Majesty. It's such an honor to see you again. Where Where is my future bride? Oh. He's arrogant, remember? Yeah, you, you, you get a message. Don't stall him. I will handle this. And and, and who... Ah, uh, daughter. I, you finally decide to come home. A little father. And son, you finally dropped that paladin business and find yourself a nice little... um. What you call it? Uh, drow? I know David. I know God of a drow. Your standards are lowering. I, I, I'm gonna back. I'm gonna back. Like say like, well, please excuse me. I must get to the kitchen, Your Majesty. I'm gonna get into the kitchen. Get to the farthest corner of the room to make sure no one's hearing me. Say, Garen one. This is Garen two. Be advised, he's here, and also his his kids are also in the tavern too. So you may want to hurry. He's at. You just hear me going, I, I am moving as fast as I can. <laughs> and you basically just, basically Tokyo fucking drifting in a steam wagon right now. <laughs> uh. Gary. Yes. Get alcohol, please. Just, I, please. <laughs> just wait, wait until William gets here. I get through behind the bar and I start bringing out the good stuff. And I start bringing out the good food. The really good stuff. I start pouring glasses of like wine, like brandy glasses, shot glasses, tumblers, all that stuff. And I'm bringing the His Majesty his food and be like, "Please, Your Majesty, please enjoy this nice fish meal, freshly caught from the ocean." Ah, whatever. So, son, I heard your teaching now. At least you have some. At least you have something to um, look forward to. Mm. Well, this is um, well. I've 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 got a, I've got a feeling that uh, that my uh, he he sees his dad as an outsider now, so he may treat him as such. Hopefully, since I convinced him to teach the kids to distrust outsiders. Since the king is getting a fish dish, Veb is going to offer him. An unopened bottle of the finest Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, wait, no, that's red. A Chardonnay. Uh, you could go with Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, Sauvignon Blanc. That actually would go even better. Yeah. Good evening, Your Majesty. Would you like a sample of the uh, Sauvignon Blanc? It would go pair well with the fish dish that you have. Uh, at least my future bride has some standards. Go ahead. All right. And Wait, say, future bride? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I'm married this only to Tapper as soon as she realizes that um, you can't beat the king, just like yep. your mother. Who knew? I'll, maybe I'll, you have a. I'll maybe, slip in. I'll slip in the back during all this, and I'll find Emzo and go. Okay, you're on. You, okay, you're on courier duty. You're on courier duty in the next continent over until further notice. Okay, but who's going to take care of the bar? 
We'll find someone. Just, 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 just get out of here. The king's going crazy. And I offer him a, a sample of the uh, Sauvignon Blanc. And she, sneaks out, and she sneaks out the back door where the account yeah. usually come, comes in. Yeah, and yeah. And I'm guessing basically I'll just, I'll just, I'll just have the steam couriers find her work far away as part of a caravan that has gearmen guarding it, just so we're putting under an assumed name everything. She, she is not. She is not to be. She is gone right now. So Pretty much, yeah. put in a plate Starlight Sea. Starlight City Caravan. Yeah. And the king Canada. doesn't mess with it because that's guarded by one of the more nat one yeah. more um plus powerful, the gear plus the gear plus the gearmen are um, guarding it. Sorcerer Council yeah. members. Yep. Yeah. Plus plus the plus the gearmen are probably uh, escorting it themselves. And again, she's under an assumed name. She's disguising herself. We we're not fucking around with this because we do not want to lose her to the, this bastard of a king. Uh, she's too don't, useful don't. to us. Don't worry, Enzo. Me and Carrie will be able to look after. Just go, go, go. Get out of here. Just, 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 we're just rushing her out of here under like a cloak. Just yeah. her out. out the back. Yeah, out the back. Out the secret back entrance. Yep. Out the back yeah, and like no. and I'll, put her and in, I'll, just yeah. like hit the back. Just go, go, go. Yep. And I'll and I'll walk in. You know where yeah, am I you, over? Yeah, you walked in out. as as the prince and princess was about to pull out their weapons and um, the the mm -hmm. alchemy. The lay alchemist about to do do the, the the double snap to kill to kill the king on the spot. <laughs> yep. And, and my, guy, my uh, guy comes in. You know he uh, he just takes off his driving gloves and, and goes, "Oh, your Majesty, what brings they, you here?" They 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 see your weapons and she lowers her hand. <laughs> yep. And he's you know adjusting the 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 hem of his sleeves. You know, look more presentable. He he just got off of rushing driving down here, so. <laughs> Uh, Probably catch his breath before he actually got here. He was like, yeah. <sighs> yeah. you know, his mechanical owl was on his shoulder. Ah, uh, one of those gear men. How are you doing? Doing just fine, Your Majesty. What brings you to our uh, f uh, to this fair little port town? I I saw a lovely lady. I want to make my nuts bright. Plus, I'm actually interested in the fact that my son act is actually dating someone. Hmm. Well, from what I understand, they met through work. She, um, she's a re she's a recent hire teaching Elven and uh, Common. She's one of the Elven. She's the main Elven teacher, but she's also teaching Common to the yeah. students. And I'll basically kind of just kind of give a little. Gesture for her to, you know, leave with with her with, with the uh, with the prince because I do not need this right now. A piece of, don't worry. They they both put they both um put their weapons away. Yep. It, one of those kind of and 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 the uh, and, uh, and, uh, and the yeah. yeah. decide not to kill the king on the spot. So. Yep. So. So. Yeah. And uh, which woman are you referring to, Your Majesty? Uh, what was her name? Oh yeah, I heard it's called Emzo Loxo. That the 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 court the court or daughter of the tavern or up north. Yeah, she's with the steam couriers right now. I believe in um because I'm gonna get basically I'm gonna try to redirect his view. Uh, she's I believe she's on the uh, Hope Valley. A part of the Hope Valley caravans, she'll be there for some time. I think she's do you know doing getting a little bit of adventure out of her system. She'll be gone potentially for a few years. Hope Valley. Yeah. Yes, we have we yes we have uh, merchant caravans going through there these days. That's not that's not even, that's not even part of the freaking um. That's not even part of the Sorcerer Kingdom bubble. Maybe that's an advantage, and you actually you actually see some evil going to his hide. Make me a check. And, and I'm thinking, yes, yes. Huh? <laughs> uh, it was just like what a um. Is this a, As in, uh, I can most my armies over there and just take it over because there's no because there's no because there's no sorcerers to stop me. <laughs> so it's like what a sense motive check or yes, yeah, sense motive. I am terrible at these twelve. Like I said, uh, yeah, Veb and 
weapon, then you could make it as well, since you're okay. in the area of the bar. And it was sense motive, you said? Yeah. Um, scrap, um, what you call it? Can you do better? Yeah. I have to do sense motive. Yeah. Scrap, nor can you do better? Uh, I, I get a, wait, hold on. Sense motive. Uh, yes, I you have to get, six. do get, you do get bones from your, because your selves are there. Uh, so I usually, I usually, I usually get a, I usually get a plus six. So what do I put? Just plus eight? Yeah. Alright. Twenty one. Uh you see you see con you see conquest in his eyes. He's thinking about conquering his land to him get his quote unquote bride back. Since there's no is, source is it, of isn't Hope Valley where, where is it where, is it that where the, isn't Hope Valley where all the paladins are? <laughs> Oh, Hope Valley. Oops, my bad. Yeah, yeah. Basically, I, I thought I said Hope Valley. No, Hope Valley. Oh yeah, he's not. He's not stupid enough to fuck with the Paladins. Yeah, she okay, basically there. just. Yeah, as I said, she's part of the caravans there. I'm throwing him off the scent. <laughs> Where in actuality she's um, she's doing in Starlight the Valley. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and again, assume name and disguised. You know, either either way, that. both both of them are guarded by. A, a council member. They're, he's not going to yeah. fuck with them. Yeah. Like, oh, Hope Valley. Eh, I don't want to fuck with them. Like, between the sister... Between the sister and... And the lady, she's too, um, goody two-shoes. To, um... Ah, she's just like her mother. Yeah. So, oh, is this the is this the orc? Huh? Or the king? No, the king says she's like, like, no, ah, the the hum, the the human um, her her human mother, yeah. No, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, so uh, so this is uh, this is um, I'm forgetting his name. The orc guy. He's he's been our buddy for most of this. Orca. Yeah, orca. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell him that his daughter, it, basically, I sent her away <laughs> with people I trust to keep her the fuck away from the king. She's on safe courier routes, basically, is what I put her on. It's going to be boring um, most of the time, but she is safe. So I'm hoping that blunts the impact to him. Uh, later on, I get a message just saying, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah, so. If something happened to my daughter, there will be no king anymore. Yeah. So yeah, basically, I've just as said, I've, I've, I've sent him, I've sent the king on a wild goose chase down to Hope Valley. If he's stupid, if he's stupid enough to hire bandits to attack our uh, caravans, he's not going to have a good time because those caravans are pretty well guarded. So, but for now, anyway, he he she could take. The king continues to make fun of his son and daughter for a little, little bit longer. Even, even yeah. tries to mess with, um... Uh, see if I can actually pronounce her name. Carrie. Like... Like... Yeah, uh, yeah, Carrie. Yeah, you're actually right. They actually posted her name anything before, but yeah. To see if she, she could get... He... he to, to see if... He can get away from his son, but um, it doesn't work, so the king leaves a little bit defeated and annoyed. Uh, yeah. Oh. <sighs> My way to... Oh, fuck uh, you. I'm, I'm going to go up to Seawall. He's, si right. he's, sitting at, he's sitting at a table. His owl is sitting across from him. Like, clearly. Ooh, ooh. Maybe we could Maybe we come back later to have some fun. As he looks like the Catwoman. <laughs> What's your name? Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> disappear! Disap Great, we're gonna disappear a party member now. <laughs> disappear! <laughs> Listen, the cat like, eh? Maybe we, we have some better Fine. company. We could 
talk later. Even so Jamie fine. Lannister is more likable than this king. Yeah. Uh, see, well, where where are you sitting in the tavern? I'm, I'm probably sitting over here. I the hot my um my owl is on the other side. We're just playing. We're doing frustrated chess right now. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna head over to you, and I'm just gonna put a plate of uh, a nice fish. I'd be like, you need it. Yeah, he, this is on gonna me. Start, he's gonna start eating it. <laughs> he's playing frustrated chess right now. Oh, it's like, that Here. damn king is such a wild card. He just mutters to himself. Oh, I, 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 I I know. Me, me and Kiri will do our best to try to look after Enzo's tavern. I'll make sure of it. There are plenty of people in the Gearman that I trust that could also run it when we're busy. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about yeah, the plus you have, I assume you have, I assume you trade your stuff enough to um, keep it, keep it out when you're gone as well. So, yeah. Well, well, like, well, yeah. well, I'm assuming, well, I'm assuming that, you know, Enzo probably had um, like a night manager or something like that, somebody that keeps an eye on things when she's asleep. Basically, they get pushed to day shift while she's gone. Is how it works. Yeah, because we, obviously we, it's an all night like because, a, we, yeah, yeah, we do like a we do like a friendly hostile takeover with this. We're, and we're I've been training the bartenders. With, yeah. So yeah. So basically, we just we just, we just we, the thing is we'll make sure it's maintained and protected. That's the important bit. Mm -hmm. So you know, Emzo, it will probably see some lower foot traffic as Emzo has that kind of personality and charisma. But we we kind of need but, to keep her hidden, far the fuck uh, away. Yeah. So, so I'm going to go back to the kitchen, grab something, and come back and uh, just hold out a little carrot to mittens and be like, here you go, girl. <laughs> After I see the sad look in her eyes. I'll, she, I'll give, mi she, give mittens a carrot. She, she yeah, eats because, a carrot. Yeah, because M uh, mittens was Emzo's early warning system when the king started to make yeah. um, googly yeah. eyes at her. <laughs> Yeah, as I said, we basically it's like I know she's probably not super happy about being dragged out the back, shoved into a steam courier uniform, and told, "Okay, you're going to be moving cargo for the next couple months." I even the next uh, several months. Even the, I even asked the mittens through a very specific coded series of links <laughs> if she would follow Emso. Uh, she attempted to, but yeah. she was already uh, on duty. By the time Mittens got to her. So I'll I'll check on the princess. I presume she's fuming right now. Oh, they oh both kids are fuming. Like I said, well, they like I said they they all they have their weapons out ready to kill their father. But well, but I, when, I had, when, when, I had, when you I walked had, in, I they, gave, they I gave stopped her him. the symbol. I gave her the symbol. You know, just basically, you know, do the whole "I'm scared, we get get out of here" thing. I, uh, uh, of of course. Of course. I'm sorry, my father is a little bit, um, evil. Uh, like, I, 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 wish I, I wish we could oh, reunite well. a little bit farther, sister, but until next time. Of course, brother. Uh, uh, no, uh, offense, no, offense you too, but, uh, no offense you two, but I think that if somebody to... Mm, how to delicately phrase this, how to delicately phrase this... Unalive the king, they might be seen as a hero. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, I study probably not enough to say that registered is still illegal, even if the king's an asshole. Yeah, we can't kill the king without facing major punishment. Mm. Trust me, me and my sister would have liked to, and I assume, I assume. Yeah. Lady, what's your call? Would like to as well, but unless we want to spend the rest of our life in Silversmith, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. just gonna head over and also give him a plate of, or both of them a plate of uh, yeah. the fish, and be like, "Here, this is on me." Hmm. Yeah. Something to at least calm your nerves down. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Carrie. Yes. Can you give him like a so? Uh, Whatever alcohol that could uh, sort of warm them up, cheer them up a little bit. Uh, it'll be on me. Okay, I think I got an idea of what to give. Well, also, I'm um, yeah. Well, what I'm also gonna do is try to quietly get over to her and basically whisper into her ear and like, I did basically whisper into her. You, you make a panic attack. Make up some story about how his father is is like the man who uh, 
the, like the man who uh, um, the man who enslaved you. And she starts basically, telling the story. They, they, Obviously, I'm not going. No, 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 no. I, no, I'm thinking basically she'll tell the story when she leaves, but basically, sh- basically fake a, pa- a bit of a panic attack to get him to want to get out of there, then tell him the story, so he can feel like the big, uh, the big hero and things like that. Yeah. So basically, I want the two of them separated because I don't want them influencing each other. What the brother and sister, or the brother and yes, the king? Brother and sister. The uh. king. They hate the. They hate the king. So. He's just going to cause them annoyance, um, potentially try to get them killed. But you know, not going to, not going to. We'll keep an eye on them for that. Um, but what I'm talking about is I'm trying to get the because uh, again, I'm just, I have two different purposes for them, and I do not want them cross contaminating. I don't want one to know what the other is being influenced. You know, by me. Yeah. So I'm trying to limit their contact. So that's why I'm having, you know, I'm trying to get her out of here. Uh, they try to get him out of here, and then I'll try to talk to the princess. I, 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 I have moves for this. I'm trying to avoid having too many people knowing too much. So all right, so, 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 that, so, all right, so, I'm so, Adra, so Adra and, um, yeah. Ah, I literally just forgot the name. Margaret is still in the bar. Yeah. Yep. Still human, so. uh, but still yeah, in for a couple Veb provides them uh, some white Russians. <laughs> something strong. Yeah, good. Yeah, something that's tasty as well. Yeah, also, something that's uh, calm them down. Yep, also, Mittens, uh, she will start approaching the uh, the daughters, you know, with her head down and making, like, sad pony sounds. Uh, they, they start they start patting them heads. Hey, okay. that's Mittens. Him's uh, the guy who runs this tavern. She's basically become kind of like a, a guard pony when uh, Sir Dushalot comes around. She basically, Emzo just go to a safe place and and meet in some guard. Yeah, so. Uh, knowing my father, uh, that would probably be the best. I'm yeah, gonna... yeah Mittens is like, you know, you know, reciprocates like the pets and whatnot with muzzles, but still makes sad pony sounds. Yep. I'll I'll um, quietly try to have a couple of the advisors of the king that were controlling um, speak with me, and I'm going to chew them the fuck out for letting the king anywhere near this bar. And just going like, I get it. Without proper notice. notice. Without proper notice. He's, I get it. He's the king. You can't stop him. But you are his damn advisors. <laughs> you have one job. Give us at least an hour keep notice. Him, keep, it, keep him in the dark. Uh, we're sorry, he's sometimes he's spontaneous, especially when it comes to love. We well, he has six wives before. And now I think and now I think about choosing between a core orc, a drow, or a cat person. <laughs> okay, start inventing problems that he needs to focus on then. Uh, some issue with taxation. Wait, no, that's terrible. No. no, no, no. Do, do you need me to burn down a village? Uh, no, 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 no. We'll, we'll, keep him busy. Oh, no, no. We'll, fi- we'll find something. Trust me. We'll find something. Yeah, j- j- just, again, let us know in advance if he's going to be showing up in that city because it is a nightmare. Because we had to scramble. We, You are lucky she's being trained as a team courier because I was able to send her off somewhere where she will be safe. And do you know what would have happened if he got a hold of her? How long do you think he would have lived if her dad got involved? And he would not have lived at all. No, no. You! And he kind of poke him in the chest. We know the king be dead, but do you think the dad's gonna... Do you think the dad's gonna stop at the king? No, he's gonna go through the entire damn court. So keep the king in check. Uh, Yes, sir. Realizing how... Where is how powerful Orca actually is? Yeah, in the fact that they probably have heard the rumors of people disappearing in our town by the hands of the Gearmen, probably scare the shit out of them too. Just rumors, but you know. I'm, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna talk to my chef, so let them know the situation. Then I'm gonna, like, all right, well, I gotta. One, head one, out, one of them is a Gearman as well, so. Yeah. Oh yeah. Be like, well, gentlemen, this is our situation. 
We'll try to make the best way. Let's still make Enzo's Tavern as popular as it is, even if she's not going to be here for a couple months. Let's do our best to try to help her out. Yeah. And oh, speak, oh, speak of oh, speak of taverns, you actually hear a couple of gearmen laughing about um, something that happened at Orcus Tavern. Uh, oh, what uh, happened at Orcus? Oh, well, because of this tavern. His tower has actually gotten pretty popular, and something about uh, buying um, whiskey and wines and stuff like that. So a lot more, um, lot more pointer, lot more posters for, um, a lot more posters for heroes and adventurers are going there now, and that got a cup, and that got a couple of tavern owners mad. One particular tavern tried to attack him. What is their name? Oh, God. Uh, oh, their God. name is Andre, but don't worry about it. Um, they they fought, and Andre is actually pretty skilled with magic. I'll tell I'll tell you that once. But then the but then the bard started playing a song, and suddenly, the, they stopped fighting, and Andre went back up north. He'd probably be back, so we had to we had to keep an eye on him. But um, yeah. <laughs> the worst case scenario, I could subtly alter the uh, qualities of his alcohol by making it seem like they're a bit older than they are by adding it out a little. Not by too much, of course. So yeah, obviously Andre is mad because he take Orca is now taking his business. Oh yeah. Support your local businesses. Yeah, I'm a. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell my chefs about this, and I'm gonna be like, "Oh, I'll be right." Uh, they, they, they have no they have no kitchen, so yeah. sorry, Orcus uh, I have no kitchen, so. <laughs> well, well, guess what we're building? We're renovating. Oh. Uh, so, I, but I'm going. I'm going to go to the. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll wait. You. Yeah. Never mind. So I guess we're go We're here now. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a, uh, uh, no. I'll, I'll, I'll wait here. for a time. I'll wait for a time when the uh, when the princess is alone to again put her more under my influence. Yeah, yeah, but uh, but yeah, I'll I'll just put it up there real quick. I'll put I'll put you back real quick. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave my chefs. Be like, I got some business to attend to, chefs. Uh, if there are any problems, uh, they'll try to let me know, and I'll try to get here as fast as I can. Meanwhile, I am going to cook a meal to visit a friend. Meanwhile, Mark is like, okay, I'll, oh, get, the, I'll get the um, boat ready. Uh, calm, calm down for a little bit, okay? Yeah. All right, all right. Uh, and, and, Mar and, Mar and Mark agrees to get the boat ready for, trans for transport. Yeah. Like, well, like I'll, I'll, I'll she, she, she looks at everyone like, I'll definitely be stopping by here more often. Well, as much as, much as my father will allow. Take care. Oh, good. Take care. Uh, so the princess uh, is leaving here now. Take care. Uh, she's th she stick around to to okay. calm down yeah. for a little bit. Got it. I'll, I'll sit just... down at the. Uh, I'll sit down at the table. Uh, Mittens starts kissing her. She you she know, looks, kisses. She she hugs Mittens. <laughs> I'll sit uh, down across from her. And then, uh, uh and then. well, well, um, I'll be back. I gotta go talk to a friend, but, uh, if you need anything, just reach me on my headset. I'll contact you if I need you. So I'll sit down across from uh, the princess and I'll go. So you read that book I gave you? Yes. Yes, I did. Yeah. Probably getting worse, you know. Uh, yes, I just saw it. That poor... Now now that she's poking hands on that poor bartender... She's safe. And, and my I brother's sure girlfriend. And she's safe, I made sure of it, and don't worry, we'll make sure she's safe as well. Eh, uh, thanks. But if it gets much worse, drastic action might be needed. Uh, 
Admittedly, Margaret already said that she is literally waiting for the king to violate one major law before she could kill kill him. Therefore, the paladins won't be our the paladins nor her father won't be our won't be on his ass. Well, uh, on her ass. But that, but that's being you know brutal and obvious. There are other ways to remove him without anyone having to know. Uh, how? I mean, I heard that the black, the black hand quote unquote protection agency is um out of business for now. And yeah, oh. and yeah, obviously they call themselves a protection agency to um yeah. to keep the lawmakers in check. But yeah, go ahead. Well, it depends. What are you willing to do? How far are you willing to go? What lines are you willing to cross for the great uh, for uh, for you know to protect to protect everyone from such a dark individual? There's one thing Lord Wisdom taught me. You would never be too evil enough to protect the, to protect the ones you love. But the question is, if he were to fall, who replaces him? My brother's too weak, so looks like I will have to replace him. I love my brother, but he's not exactly king material. He he, but he has found his place, and he seems happy. Uh, yes, he does. Uh, uh, he he hears the whistles like. I guess I guess it's time for me to go as well. Well, I said, and I'll just kind of, and I'll say, but if you ever think that the that your father has gone too far, come to me. I might be able to help. Oh, trust me, I know that my father's gone too far. Just waiting for the right moment. That's the other thing Lord Winston taught me. Oh, uh, before you go, please take this on the house as well. And I give her a bottle of Louis the Thirteenth. I'm, I'm sure her, I'm sure me and um, Margaret would do this just fine. It is some of the yeah. finest brandy that I have ever made. What I'll, what I'll do is, and if you want to read something else, I'll, um, I'll pull out one of my more recent uh, drafts of my ideology. It's, it's, um, I wouldn't call it the more extreme one, but definitely one. Uh, that's pushing technology a lot harder and very much downplaying magic. So ideology 098. Yep. So and I'll say I haven't released this to the public yet. You might find it interesting. Maybe even help you come up with ideas for how to rule. Because this will also include the concept of uh, uh, some governance concepts, kind of stepping away from this hereditary sorcerer's council towards. Um, yeah, but more it, it definitely dips into constitutional monarchy, but it's talking more about um, certain elected individuals that get there through mer meritocracy, or people getting there through meritocracy. Uh, you know, like basically, I'm basically it's kind of a hybrid of republic and technocracy is what I what my guy is describing in this. Do I need to roll my ideology? Yeah, normal check because well. While you make a good argument, her friend and best her, her, I'm about to say her best friend of balls is one of those is one of the stars of the Sorcerer Council. But yeah, even if um that's pretty much good enough to um at least take the book and at least start reading it a little on the book yeah. right home. This basically the seed is being planted. Yeah. About, yeah, I'm planting seeds. I got her brother. But I'm getting him to go down the road of we must, you know, uh, armor up the next generation to avoid to protect them from the wrong of the past. 
Whereas with her, I'm getting her down the governance path. But somebody that's in my under my control. All right, so let me just get this straight for a little bit. The brother is going to the brother because now you have three people, three high ranking people. You're t you're um talking about control. Well, technically four, but mm -hmm. you have the you have the prince who on the path to um. On the, the path to um, teach the new generation. Yep. Yeah, the princess who's on the path to um, replace the, replace her crazy father. She she's the way to get legitimacy for our control. Yeah. I have I have, Ma, I have Margaret Mundo, who on the path to ultimately replace her father. That but, one's a much longer plan. Yeah, be, yeah, it's it's a longer plan because it's her father, and yeah. well, he's a fucking necromancer. It's just as he he yeah. he could be just as evil as you are if you if necessary. Oh yeah, yeah, the ends justify the means. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So There's anyway, she 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 bows to um she she head pets mittens. She bows to Beb and she walks out. And you see outside the prisoners. The prisoners are now being unfrozen from the spells. And one of them, once again, tries to charge... Wants, tries to charge, um... Margaret. And she's like, literally, wait. And pretty much everyone sees the show. She lit. One of the prisoners literally waits until... She literally waits until one of the prisoners is that close from her... Then just snap, snap, dead. Like, uh, these people never learn. Come on, time's a wasting. Not to self, do not get on her bad side. Uh, you also see one interesting thing before I leave this scene. You all see like a zombie, like walking around, still half dead, almost asking Margaret, like, "How long I'm gonna do this? Like until your debt is paid." And she, like, for the first time, well, uh, as except when she sees a king, Margaret looks generally sorry. Margie looks generally angry, like she could like burn the. She could, like, burn him down in a heartbeat if she wanted to. If a death clear was a real thing, the king would just be a pile of ash. No, he he died and has been, and has been brought back to life, I assume, by, by her father, by um, Winston. So wait, the like, king re is like, dead? Remember, remember, my father said, death is too good for you. Thanks to you, my m mother... Ah, let's go. And they leave. Alright, uh... So yeah, don't, so yeah, don't fuck either. with the Muntos. Death, death is not the end, or death is not the end for you. Uh, Meanwhile, Mittens did the right thing by engendering herself to them. By being a pony. <laughs> anyway, let, what do you say is crap? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go visit our black hand friend who is currently still being held in a prison, but I'm gonna go visit her, get some information. But before that, I just wanna cook a meal for her. Because if you wanna get people to talk, sometimes a good meal. 26. Uh, it might be good enough to have her talk. Okay, well, I'm gonna arrive in the <clears throat> cell. She be I'm guessing there's like a gearman garden outside the cell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, well, I'd be like, well, how are you uh, enjoying your new room? Yeah, it's fairly comfortable. I'm gonna look at the gearman or gearman, have him uh, open up the door since I have a plate of food. I'm gonna enter inside. Have him close it. Just sit down and be like, come, sit. 
made some good food for you. I don't know how your food is, but I decided just to cook you some tonight. I have a couple questions. Okay, depends. What's up? Well, there are a couple people I'd like to know where they're at. I don't know if you have any, if you know, or if there's a place where I can find out. Uh, there are three people I'm looking for. Number one is the, uh, I forget his name, the, what's the name of the orc, uh, Ty? I actually didn't say the name, so you should just say, you can make anything you oh. want. Okay. Uh, uh, well, first is the name, uh, Brian, the orc. I, at least, I want to know, because in this book... Uh, it has all the Black Hand members, but three of it are missing. Uh, do you have any idea where Brian might be? Uh, roll me a check, normal check. It's normal because the food is good enough for her to actually talk, but not good enough for her to spill the beans, all right. A, Just a d20? Yeah. <laughs> Two. I'm sorry, I don't know who you're talking about. Uh, understandable. But there are two people I really want to see and see how they're doing. There are twins. If you remember, I helped train them. <sighs> Megan and Thomas were their names. I don't know if you remember the twins. Oh, I helped right. train uh, check with check with advantage because, well, you actually did trade them. Oh. oh, um, I'm probably gonna use my hero reroll because I want to see this information. See if, damn it. <laughs> Ah, uh, Thomas, uh, I'm sorry, that's good. as good as the food is, and I know you trained them, but I can't exactly develop that kind of information right now. Maybe later, but... Uh, I but understand. Once the job is completed, but <laughs> till then... Do you at least know about... The job they undertake it? I'm guessing it's another assassination mission. Uh, I can tell you that they're, assa they're assassinating a, a pair of nasty nobles. Uh, I'm guessing they're gonna try to work together. One's gonna cook food for one of them, one's gonna try to snipe them. Mm. Uh, but uh, I, of course. I trained them well. It, in fact, that in, fact, to... I'm, in fact, I'm waiting for my halt to come back to to um, ensure that the job is completed. Oh. Uh, wait, could you, could you repeat that, Ty? You cut out for me for a second. I'm waiting for my halt to come back to assure me that the job is completed. Hmm. She has a pet halt that, that monitors what... What what make what card carrying members of the Black Hand are doing? Well, if if you can, I I don't really not to be rude. I don't really care about Brian. I mean, I work with him, but me and him have different styles of assassination. You know, it. The few times I did work with him, it was all right. It's just. His method's a little different from mine. I think his method's a little different than everyone in the in the guild, but he does get results. We can't, none of us can say otherwise. Yeah, interesting results. I we sent him in for emergency, like um, emergency situations. Like the reason we didn't send him after the kings because um, well we had to. Well, even I don't think even Brian could fight off against an entire paladin, the entire aura paladin. He, he's strong, just 
not strong enough to take on a lot of paladins like that. They would whittle him away in his strength, but if if your hawk does come back and informs you on the twins, please can you at least let me know? Because I like to. Okay, quick quick question. She's locked in a dungeon. How does the hawk? She get didn't. There? She didn't know that. She didn't realize that yet. So hot. So hot's probably. So immediately the hawk's probably flying around trying to look yeah. like her his master, her master. Oh. Oh, hmm. Yeah. Is there... Hmm. Um... Well, it... Hmm. Yeah, this... <laughs> that just threw up my whole entire speech time. Uh, <clears throat> alright. Well... There I'll, is uh, a way to find out which hawk is hers. That is true, it did spend... Oh... Yeah, I forgot how, because I know what her hawk would look like, because I've seen it before. Just trying to, you know, hmm. I may have to talk to There you. is a trick uh, you could use to find out if you can find the, find the hawk or not. And you will have an advantage because you know what, what it looks like, unlike the, the rest of the party. Just saying. Yeah, I'm trying to find, I'm trying to think which one you're... I, I know I've worked with her. I know what her hawk looks like. If I know the last location, her hawk is probably circling around yes. the area where... Y yeah, yes, the uh, area where we stole the boat. Yep. I'm going to look at her and be like, well, you do enjoy your food. Um, I will be right back, my friend. Uh, you take care, and I, I will keep visiting you, because even though you may be treated as a prisoner, I still consider you a good friend. I'm going to... Get up. Uh, God go. damn it, you just broke the illusion. Damn it. <laughs> Don't. God damn it. Goldleaf? This Are you a face character, yes or no? A what? Are you a face character? Good guy. Face? No, face, as in you use social skills? Like. No, this is the first time I've ever used it. <laughs> So, I should have said more like a colleague. Fuck. No. no we're going to have to start from... We're going to have to now put her back in and hopefully not melt her brain. Maybe if I find the hawk, maybe that'll help. Mm. Do you see the reason why, Golden, I've been the one handling most of this? <laughs> uh, I, I should I'll, I'll let that me. snap food go from... For for, yeah. now, for now, because I actually want her to stay alive a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll, I'll just I'll just even be like I'll be right back, and I'll have the yeah. gear all up, and then uh, as I'm walking away, I'll be like, or as I'm far away enough to where she can't hear, and I'm out of the dungeon, I'm like, Gearman one, this is Gearman two. What is it? Uh, if you can meet me, or where are you right now? Busy cleaning up messes. Poppy, if you can, I need to... Can you see about getting me in contact with one of the steam couriers? I need to go to a location. Uh, there should be a few available in the courtyard. Just grab just grab one of them that don't have a job. Copy that. I'm gonna... I'll go down to where the steam couriers are and... Uh, uh, request one to be... Or oh, I you need, can also, or well, also, if you need to go really fast, you could get one of the Thunder Scouts. Because some of them have sidecars. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go, back, go back to here. Yeah. Yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna get one of the Thunder Scouts. Uh, one of them that are not busy and uh, basically like I'm I need a Thunder Scout to take me to a location. <sighs> uh, any of the Thunder Scouts available? Oh yeah. All right. I will. Uh, I'll pay them, of course, and have them take me over to this location where uh, we uh, right, captured you the. Go to the location assets. and now make me the roll so you can see if you can find a hawk. Uh, what would be the advantage? Uh, plus five. Eleven.
Uh, yeah, be good fun. Yeah, with your check, you have to roll. It's gonna take some time. It, it takes some time, but eventually, you 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 find a hawk with a with a note with two notes tied tied on his wrist. Ah, uh, uh, no one. Uh, does this hawk see me and like? Uh, I'm gonna. Hmm, how do I approach this hog? Show the. This is this is gonna be an interesting one. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm guessing the hawk is like up on a branch or something. Uh, yeah, just look. Yeah, just looking around the cave, waiting for a mas his master come out. Does that hawk have a name, or are you gonna have to have me name the hawk? <laughs> I'll I'll name the hawk Henry. Like, all right. Uh, so you usually I uh, don't have any. No, oh, no, I have like a little bit of my trail ash, and I'm gonna pull out one of the one of the pieces of meat and be like, "Hey, Henry, do you remember me?" I'm gonna like. I also have the piece of jerky in my hand and be like, hey, Henry. The hawk looks at you. Hey, remember me? And I'm, most, I'm just trying to show... Or trying to get his attention also with the uh, jerky. Be like, you must be a little peckish. Here. Uh, hold out the... I'm not going to have to make this bonus. He actually flies down to start eating. Ah, uh, you... You must be very worried. You're, you must have been very hungry. And pull out another stick and then grab the two notes while maybe pen him. Because I've worked with him several times, so... And, uh, take the two notes while still feeding, still feeding Henry. And I'm gonna look at the notes, and see what they say. Um, one, one says mission accomplished. Um, I killed the, t I took the target in um Hope Valley and a couple of others, and about a couple of hundreds, a couple of, and about ten citizens. Oh, that must have been. Uh. Oh, ten. Oh, he killed. He killed ten people or ten civilians. Huh. He's yeah. doing a little bit better. Usually right. it's twenty. I I escape. I escape before the paladins caught up to me. <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, he's improving. He's he's killing ten people instead of twenty. That was the normal average. So at least he's improving. All right. The the other oh. note says um our our mission was was accomplished uh we we slipped the food we slipped the poison in his food and the other noble went down like that and a note the, and note the paper was from um Star Starlight Valley Starlight Valley alright no I'm I'm just gonna first I'm just gonna be a little proud like. Taught him well. And it's like, alright. Sunlight Valley, that's where they are. Wonder if they're gonna stay there. Hmm. Well it depends, remember that the Hawk might have been flying around for a long time waiting for his master, so yeah. they might they might have moved by now. Hmm. Usually me usually we're <sighs> I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna try to remember. Do I remember any spots to where the twins would usually go after a mission is successful? Did I roll to see if I remember any places they would go? Yeah. Or I yeah go yeah go ahead. Uh, just standard D twenty. Intelligence check. Yes. What is my intelligence? Oh, I get a plus two. An eighteen. All right, they usually go to either Killett's mansion, or an or under, or like in the, 
or in build a city in their actual own house. Says they'll still qualify as quote quote bodyguards. They're in the mansion or house cool. Hmm. Mansion would probably be my first place to go. If not, I can go to their house. Hmm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look at Henry and be like, "You wanna go back to your master?" She, I know where she, she is. nods. All right, and I pull out an extra trail ration. Here, here you go, bud. You're probably very hungry. Look at yeah, the thunder scout and. I guess, uh, I guess the, I guess the Veb's cat also is very hungry. But go ahead. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm gonna. Uh, the Thunder Scout take me back, and when we get near the town, I'm gonna radio in. Uh, Gearman one, this is Gearman two. Yes. Uh, this is your one. Be advised, uh, the Black Hand leader. She had a Falcon that usually delivers message about the assassins where they are. Do you want to meet somewhere so I could show you? Uh, take it to the castle. Copy. Right. I'll have the Thunder Scout take me there. I'll... At this point, pro- the hawk's probably just like on my shoulder at this point. <laughs> yep. And I'm going to enter in, and you just see a hawk on my shoulder. <laughs> and you'll see my owl on mine. Oh, looks like we're matching. And, look, and they just look, look at each other. Mm-hmm. It, well, it's a mechanical it's, owl, it's, but hey. It's, it's okay, Henry. He's friendly. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, well, this is the Black Hands Leader's hog, Henry. I remember him. He He's very friendly. Uh, he usually delivers messages to her from the assassins when they complete their job. Hmm. Useful. Yes, very. Uh, Archimedes? Why, 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 why don't you have a chat with, uh, with him for a little bit? Um, it's a uh, hog. He can't actually speak English. <laughs> Okay. The remember my owl. It, even though it's a mechanical creature, it's still considered an animal bird. At seventh and eighth level, it gains the ability to speak with animals of its kind. Ah, my bad. Go so ahead. Go ahead. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah. So the the hawk. So the um. So the owl will speak and goes, greetings. Okay. Very, again, this will be very stilted and basic because they're because this creature's only intelligence nine. Yeah, uh, good. But it's good still e- it's still insanely more intelligent than that hawk. But you know, uh, good evening. Where's yeah. my Where's my boss? Oh. Your boss is being treated currently. She was injured and needs help. We're pro- uh, my master is providing that help, uh. but we're going to need some help from you. Uh, no wonder I was flying. I was flying that. I was flying around there for like a couple of weeks. Oh boy, he was peckish. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sure he did some hunting on his own. So, yeah, so and help. And it goes. So we'll need you. To, from what we understand, you deliver messages for your master. Uh yeah, yes. From anyone who's a card carrying member of the Black Hand, and some, and some. And some associates that were former Black Hand members, or 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 Black Hand members who was in good, or mercenaries who was in good standing with the Black Hand. We'll need you to deliver messages for us, as we've as stated. Your master was injured; it was injured and being treated currently. Um, why do I deliver messages from you? She raised me as a child. As a baby hall, just for this purpose. She needs these messages delivered. As as stated, she is currently being treated and is not available. <sighs> All right. In the, you have to, you have to, you have to. Uh, Scrap Primus explains to you how to um route the messages to tie it to his leg. Yep. So I take so, the hey, What we'll do is um. The orc, forget yeah, about it. I don't I'll, care about him. Yeah, I'll, sh- um, I'll show you the, the messages of where they are, or 
their completion yeah. of their yeah. assassination. The, the, Hawk, the Hawk will be sent to have those two. Um, they'll have orders to um, go uh, go uh, go quiet for a while. There's a lot of heat on the organization, and basically keep hidden. Don't attempt to contact us. We'll contact you. Go to this. Uh, stay around this. Uh, stay in this city around this tavern, and it will be in um, Hope Valley. Oh no, sorry. It will be in that. Um, what was it? In a kingdom that they're familiar with, but we know is neutral in this situation. All right. All right. And what do you want me to do about the brute? Um, I mean, we could send him on a suicide mission, but I don't know if he'd accept it. So I'm thinking we just go radio silent with him. Let him, he's not the brightest, so we'll just let him just cause trouble. Since he doesn't know we exist, so he shouldn't. All right, well, eventually the crowd is probably, will catch up to him eventually, especially when he yeah. runs out of, um, smoke, 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 smoke release again to get away with. So, a anything else? So, yeah, that... There's a mission, hopefully... That means they're... Well, I mean, it, at least means that they're on... We've got them on... One of them we don't care about. The other two are potentially a threat. So, we've got them on ice for the, now. Just letting them know that the organization's got some heat on it, so go to ground. If I know the twins, and I should know them, they still have good respect for me, even if I wasn't a full member of the Black Hand, but... We'll, uh, we'll send them a message later on uh, with the Hawk that we'll be coming to approach them, but right now we just don't have the time. We can't add in many more X-Factors for the moment. I'm pretty sure they still believe that I'm dead after my execution quote unquote so as Probably i said devastated yeah for now we keep them on ice quiet in cover somewhere where we can keep an eye on them potentially with people we know we don't pretend to hope valley because we don't want them coming across the orc <laughs> so we'll send them somewhere uh, else decent area where they can or he'll probably get work as a cook and they'll just not cause trouble so we sent them there. They're on ice. Yeah, one of we them. We have too much. We have too much on our plates to worry about them right now. I know Thomas is a good shot. Megan, she can probably hunt the food. Mm -hmm. I know that yeah, much. We'll, but... we'll send them to civilization. He'll find work as a cook, and she can work as a local hunter. That that, that basically it does said well, the instructions will be you know go to ground. Blend into society and blend into society for a while. We'll contact you. Is kind of the and, general message that I'm sending them. And I'll make sure uh, Henry and uh, Archimedes are probably in another room. They talk mm -hmm. to each other. I'm gonna make sure mm -hmm. I'm I'm in a room privately talking with Seawall about this, so the hawk doesn't hear. And I'll be like, so, mm -hmm. what should we do about the hawk? Because he's gonna be worried about. His master and we've just got to put a few, we've just got to put a few ideas in her head that she was injured and that she backs up our story that we need to send the message. That's it. Shouldn't be that hard to have the two of them together. They she can't speak Hawk. I'm assuming. So no, she can't. <laughs> yeah. So well, shouldn't be that hard I'll... once he does his mission. Well, I can look after him for a bit until you get the brainwashing done. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I haven't raised him, but. I've spent. Eh, yeah. I've done a many yeah. missions with the Black Hand, so, so he's I'll, somewhat familiar I'll with me. Through, I'll put her through a session to make sure that the story is drilled into her head when she sees the hawk. Um, just again, just again, you know, trying to prep her for Manchurian can to Manchurian candidate uh, the other guy, the other king. So. So and I'll take, be... um, and by that time, I'll just take Henry to my place, you know, give him a nice little area and just give him some nice food. Probably give him a nice, find him a nice, uh, rat. Or mm -hmm. mouse. 
We'll make Ooh. sure he's fed. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I just saw something <laughs> evil. <laughs> what? Uh, suddenly here is screaming. Um, Gamma One and Two. Um, we need help <laughs> quickly. The what? Fucking... I, I... Did, did did something way. go right for once I'm today. Gonna... Uh, and... Andre's back with some big bruising orc of a scythe. <laughs> Oh, fuck! Mobilize fucking everyone! We are! I'm, we are! We're trying not to get killed by this guy! Let, you've been trained to fire in lines! Fire in lines! We are! I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run over there and try and see what the fuck's going on. Yeah, I'm just driving. Well, we're getting into my vehicle and driving. And we're also calling in Veb and everyone. It's just ah! Why is he here? Why is he here? Yeah. A challenge. Worthy Jeez. of my skill. Why? Why is he here? Why is he here? Yeah. Now, fortunately, don't have to work really yet, but yeah, you have. Yeah. You promise have um. He promised us Orca and this and this orc literally clashing literally clashing um weapons. <laughs> yeah, I I'm gonna grab the gearmen that have precise shot and we're just dumping mags until that orc goes down. Uh would that be this character? No, that's not it. No, no, I don't. I don't have the orc prepared yeah. yet. <laughs> As I said, okay, th this guy's too much trouble for his worth. We're just killing him. I'm gonna help out. We're just like, mag dumping until he fucking drops. Like the bar, right. the 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 bar is trying to play as fast as he as as well as he could, and you could tell that his songs are completely magical. But even he, yeah. but even the orc is, but yeah, even the the, you know, the assassin you know, orc is too you know, much of a race to um. Inspire, inspire courage on you know basically I'm just telling you know inspire courage so that our guys get a bonus to damage and uh, and to aim. So he, again, he, or he, just he, mag he starts, dumping. He starts, he starts playing just that. So yeah. Yeah. As I said, we're just mag dumping. We're just mag dumping until this guy drops. So. Yep. Ryan. Uh, both pony, both mittens, and uh, Veb snap into a slim jim. Yeah. You just, yeah. So as I said, mag, mag dumping until he's on the ground. Until he's on. Until he's a puddle on the ground. He'll eventually drop. Uh, Andre just looks Andre. like who? Like, and now you have these people on here. What the hell? Yeah, I'm gonna try to yell at Brian. I'm gonna try to yell at Brian's name to see if he fucking looks at me. No, we're just killing him. Just fucking kill like, him. Like, like you, you're still here, and now it's going, and now it's going, and now it's trying to charge you. <laughs> Again, oh, he's not charging. Golden, I'm just drunk charge. charge. We're drunk charge. Not charging. worth the trouble, Golden. We are killing him and burning the body. <laughs> I was gonna whisper my breath. Sorry, well, whisper my breath. Sorry, my friend. And this, hey, I'm gonna study target. I'm gonna fire a shot. I'm gonna try to fucking dodge him. Uh, so I'm gonna do study target. Uh, what else can I do here? Uh, targeting. I'm I'm going for one of his. Uh, should I go for his legs? Uh, no, kill him. Yeah, catch shot. Fuck this dude. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do target in. I'm gonna do study target. Mm -hmm. uh, also with accuracy, I'm gonna do precise shot. Yeah, so you don't well precise. Well, you mean deadly aim? Uh, I just says precise. I have precise shot, and I have uh. Okay, what pre precise shot makes it so you can shoot into melee without we get a minus four? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah that means bad. you can't hit me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing. Yeah. I also have yeah. uh, bleed and, and then, attack, so if yeah. if this doesn't and, fucking kill him, he's gonna bleed. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, me. I'm still oh, here. Vital strike. I'm gonna yeah, do vital that. Vital strike increases it as well. Um, you won't get any of the additional damage because he, he's not flat. He's not um, um, unaware of you, so he still has yeah. dex. So vital strike, accuracy, study target. Yep, and then Bleeding. you can also do you can also do deadly aim. 
where you'll be able to reduce your um I do not have two. deadly aim. We have it we get it for free. We all get it for free. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. So you get a minus two to the attack but a plus four to the damage. So it's just it, it, at this point, it's it. We're, we're we're just piling damage on damage, man. We're piling damage on yep. damage because we want him dead. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do all that. So let's see. So D twenty plus. Let's see. So it's gonna be my. It's my Dex, right? Originally, so it's Dex, which is a plus four. What is your plus, BAB? Plus my AB, you said? BAB, then plus B -A -B. one for the weapon. BAB, where is that? Base attack bonus. It'd be a seven for your level. So it's four plus seven plus one for magic weapons. Yep. That's 12 plus, I'm doing study target. Which does an additional three for humanoids. So that would be 15. I'm going to take a minus two because I'm doing yeah. vital strike. So yep. thirteen, uh, targeting. I already did targeting. Uh, I'm guessing that gives me a bonus as well. Um, I think like a. Not exactly. Um, uh, a gunslinger's uh, targeting is a little bit different. Um, yeah, targeting head that would get he would get confused for one round. Uh, if you're doing it, basically, if you're burning grit to do this, torso would increase the critical range 19 to 20. Head um, damage normally is also confused for one round. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the head yeah. using yeah. grit because I want to yeah. confuse him. So we have the gearman open up. So 13. Uh, I think that's it. I think yeah. that it's a plus 13 in total. Because I also have elite sniper. I don't know if that adds anything. Oh, no, I also get a plus one to firearms because I have weapon focus. Yes, you also get a plus one for weapon focus. Um, so go ahead and roll it. So, yeah. 16 Damn versus it. flat foot. I doubt he has much of a dex. It hits. Yeah. Okay. Now yeah. here comes the damage. So already it is yeah. a 1d12 plus... No, no, it's 2d12. Uh, I got 2d12 of a plus 12 attack bonus. No, no, no. Not exactly. It's 2d12 plus, I believe with the uh, gunslinger, it's at, uh, you have a, you have a, because you're a musket master, it's got a slightly different uh, setup. Um, here we go. It says t my total attack bonus is plus 12. Okay, and the where, damage. Am I? okay. Sorry, a fifth level of musket master increases the skill, to, uh, gains a bonus on damage rolls equal to dex modifier. Okay, so okay, so got it. So in this situation, your uh, your uh, so yeah, so the damage you're doing is it's it's two d twelve plus four plus one plus four plus three plus three. All right, so yeah. four plus one plus four plus three. Yeah, and. Uh, 18 so, points of damage. Yeah. And now he is confused for a round because he used a point of grit. Yep. To hit him in his head. Yep. So, 18 points of damage. How does, how does that deal to his... Well, to his head, and then... Yeah. Treating all creatures, enemies, allies. Okay, so a roll on the table. Uh, following table to the of each round of a confused subject each turn. So okay, you need a uh, tie. Uh, if it's his turn, he needs to roll a one d one hundred. Hi. No, I'm just trying to get his damage right now. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Who is the nearest creature to him? That with his running start, that would. After his running start, that would be Scrap. Okay, so he's still attacking Scrap. <laughs> and I think he critically fails with that six that he rolled. Okay. Now, before yeah. I...
before I make my attack, I'm going to uh, initiate a challenge. Oi, Orc! You actually want to hit something? How about you hit on something your own size? Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, uh, Andre actually tries to calm him down, like, stick with the plan, kill, kill Orca, then we, then we go after his daughter. Like we we're, we're gonna save the other things for oh crap, it actually works. <laughs> what? What happened? Yeah. Oh the challenge. <laughs> Let let's see if um what's it called could talk talk him down. Twenty points of damage. And now it's focused on you. <laughs> yep. Uh how did my hit go with the eighteen points of damage? Well you took another twenty. 31 points of damage. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait a 31. No, wait. I rolled a 31 to hit. Yeah. So, 12, 20, and 13. So, 33 points of damage. On top of 18. So, he, he's taking some bad hits. Also, don't forget. Mittens. Yes. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Does it 20 beat his AC, Ty? Uh, yeah, of course. Okay, so double the damage, man. Oof. 14 damage. No. Is that is that orc still standing? Uh, yes, he is. Well, the second set of attacks didn't hit, but the attention is on me. That is what I needed. Good. Are you going to open fire too? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is, remember, I'm also commanding. How many gearmen did we grab? I say about five. I say about six in this emergency. Yeah. Okay. So I'll roll my roll for my attack. Um, AC is four. AC is like fourteen. So okay. yeah, I think I'm highly adapt. Equalizer yeah. that it wins. Yeah. yeah. So mine is seven. So uh, okay, it's eleven minus two, but plus one because I'm doing an aim. Uh, I'm gonna use my move action to aim. I remember, as long as the bard keeps playing, you still have um, advantage. Oh, yeah, yeah, we also forgot the, the bard giving us bonus. So, is it, what, a plus two, plus three? Yeah, plus three. Okay, got it. So, he's actually a pretty powerful bard. Nice. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a bard giving bonus, so never mind. <laughs> okay. Oh, hold on, I may have some... So, it's a plus two weapon. So, it's nine. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, never mind. It is plus eleven. So, there we go. I don't really get many bonuses, so... I did Deadly Aim as well. I'm also using Firepower, forgot to mention that. And unfortunately, weapons it does not... So, I definitely hit. Okay, if I remember right, we bumped it up by one damage dice. So, I think it's a D10 now. Plus four, plus two, plus... I think my... There's 3d8 for firepower now. Sorry, I'm double-checking my sheet and all that stuff to make sure. I'm kind of going partially off memory here. Then another plus 3 from the uh, Barty boy. 39 damage. One second. Yes! To the uh, orc. So I, I overpressured the shit out of that shot. Is he still alive after another 39 damage? Uh, right. yes, but he's not exactly looking that good. Yep. And then I just yell fire as, you know, all of my guys open up on him. They don't nice. do that near that level of damage, but so. So does he survive, does he survive a volley of six guys? One second. One second. Yeah! Yeah. No, it's 14 guys, remember? 
Uh, yeah, a while ago, food. but oh, damn. I, yeah. but that's the wrong food. Like some bread, some, some bread and stuff. No, that's what I was complaining about earlier. I already sent a notice to Uber and everything. Could they have delivered the wrong stuff? Yeah. They did. Yeah. So I got a whole bunch of food out here. You know that. I know. You didn't want it. That's, dude. That's like too. Uh, what you call it? Too. Um. It's a lot of food. So, if you want, go ahead. But it's like it's insanely salty. All right. Sorry. Go ahead. Okay. So okay, so we said you said it. Uh, Golden Leaf said there were fourteen gearmen available for volley fire, but you said there were only six. I can't remember. I'm confused. Okay. Yeah, yeah, half your level. So. Okay. Okay, that would be three if I round down. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, three. So does this guy survive another three shots from other gearmen? Barely. Okay. However, now Orc is going to go. He yeah. runs up, charges into a raid. I don't have a raid read, so just at this. Jumps up to one of his tables and crashes his Warhammer down on his um, would be assassin. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, and God. with that, he, that the Warhammer crashes into, and the assassin is, well, technically unconscious, but <laughs> you can pretty much shoot him to death now. <laughs> yeah, we're probably putting bullets into his corpse to make sure he stays dead. Axe to the neck. Axe to the neck. Yeah, so, uh, so basically everyone coup de gras him. <laughs> Do <everyone>? stupid damage. <laughs> Can I fire? Yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, start I'm gonna lo yeah, I'm gonna load and put like two more shots into him, and then just yeah, put two more shots into him. I'm gonna make sure to aim for both of his. Both of my shots are going towards his fucking head. Yeah, and that so. makes a little bit of fun time. Yeah, Veb is just going to shout into the air. Where is Andre? Yeah, I know you actually see a Marco walking straight to is, Andre. You know. And grabbing the guys his are neck now, now fixing bayonets. Like he's he he wants to Andre literally grabbing his neck. He's ours. We'll deal with him. He'll never be a problem again. You have just forfeited your bar. Oh yeah, we own it now. <laughs> you 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 better make me a check because <laughs> it's because right like right now Orca is like you just yeah. forfeited your free. Free what you call it on life. <laughs> uh, well, okay, well, you know, so I'll. With, with an advantage because go. he knows you, but. Yeah, so I'll do a diplomacy check to try to calm him the fuck down. Orca, put him down. We'll deal with him. I promise you, he will suffer. And you know, we, we, we've we come through on our promises. We've even kept your daughter safe. So put him. him down. He looks at Veb and just tosses him to Veb, like... Yeah. I like to imagine as he was tossing it, yeah. tossing it Andre to Veb, Veb just lined up a punch and just punched yeah. him while he was in the air. Oh! That's gotta you hurt. Even talk to yourself for a couple minutes while I set up this okay. medicine real quick. Okay, Orca, that was actually perfect timing. Yeah. Why? Why was he here? I'm gonna get off. I'm gonna get off mittens. Gonna uh, start mistake, hog tying him, cause... then tying him up, then placing him onto you... mittens. I'm gonna look at Curie and be like, Curie, no, you need to triple knot that. That, and... that. that bastard is strong. We're just bread and oh, rip, just rip and then my take out some chains, a couple of donuts, and then like wrap them up in chains, and then using the pad, the various padlocks I have, lock them up. Uh... The reason I, the reason I take it was I realized, like, sure. okay, it's Mexican food. I can't eat this of, because uh, it's. It'll be the sixth. Oh, I thought Not it was the Mexican. greatest of. You know, kind of like a halfway point between where I got, like, from Louis the First to Louis the Thirteenth. But still very potent with, like, a ABV of 600. 
<laughs> I'm gonna force him to drink uh, an entire mouthful. First, I thought it was the people down This is the fantasy yeah. realm. ABVs of 600 can exist. And I'm it's, getting, and I, and I'm getting out, uh, and I'm getting out, you know, the the injector and a big old dose of sedative. Yeah. Also, um, also, gonna, Mittens is gonna start eating the uh, yes, the body of the, uh, the orc. Give me back anything yet? So, including including my money. I'm gonna just so. start. I'm gonna reload my rifle and just have that just trained on him the entire time. Yeah, so, we're, so we're, my plan, we're going the full, we're hanging him upside down with a pulley, and we're just going to be dunking his head into a bucket until he's up. Uh, he's uh, I'm sure so I'm about Andre, right? Yeah, what was that? We're talking about Andre, right? Yes. Okay, good, because I did cut the head off the orc. Yeah, the orc is... Oh, right now, I imagine that what was it? Uh, Mittens is licking the goo. Yes. Uh, I'm yes. just I'm just gonna we'll look at Seal and burned. be like, we'll his body burned. I'm gonna look at Seal and huh. be like, well, I, uh, well, I guess we don't have to worry about him. But God damn it, why was he here? Probably looking why for did he her. Hopefully the hawk gets the message to the other two to lay low for a while. I don't know why he was here. And as I'm dragging uh, as I'm dragging Andre back to uh, Mittens, I punch him again in hopes of finally knocking him out. So I can tie him up onto Ribbon, onto Mittens, like Red Dead Redemption style. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and you know, I, I want to take a look at this orc. What is that scythe of yours? It's, his scythe is... His it's a really good scythe. He can... Basically, even, I think, in armor... I think people... He could slice people even with armor. Almost like a hot knife through butter, but... Because of his pure strength. He... Let's just say this. If... He's... He's an assassin, Kiri. Believe it or not, he's part of the Black Hand. I know how strange that is that an orc with a scythe is an assassin, but we'll, we'll find out he, he does assassinations works. different. He goes up to his target and just kills him in front of everyone. And if uh. anyone, if he thinks anyone's gonna blab, he just kills them as well. I mean, if you leave no witnesses, depends how depends how um, salty it is. Yeah, technically yes, but I. He does it different. I do my stuff different. He does his stuff different. I worked with him before, but only once, and that was it. We were supposed to assassinate a target, and he decided to paint the whole golden room red. Oh, what an asshole. What a professional. It, it took me three days to finally wash off all the blood on my cloak. Three days! So this guy's not the professional. He is, in his own right. But not as far as, like, the skills that one would expect of uh, one in their trade. <laughs> but yeah, let's also take uh, He's... let's take him and see if there's anything of value on him that we could use. Notes, letters, he... magic items, shit He's... like that. He's only you. The reason why the Black Hand uses him is for a emergency assassination. Basically, I don't even know what to call him. It's just he's he's, good at he's the one they send in when they want somebody dead, and they don't care if there are witnesses. Yeah, he it, he, he he's the hammer, and every assassination is the nail. It's yes. crude, but effective. I'm still. All right, so the only thing ha the only thing he has on him is his, is his ma All right, so the only thing on him is his magic scythe and like a about twenty smoke bombs. He did love his smoke bombs. Well, think about it. if you if you walk up to a target and slice their head off, then slice a lot of people's head off. They have to she has to find a way to get the fuck away. <laughs> 
He's a death stupid. <laughs> And I didn't, I didn't hear earlier what you're going to do with, on, with poor Andre. Oh, he's been given a big dosage of booze, and I've injected him with uh, a good amount of sedative, and then we're going to basically just tie him up. And we're yep, taking no, back he's the hog-tied and on top, yeah. tied up on top of mittens. Yep, we're taking him back to the castle, and we're yep. going to be doing some... I'm sure they're okay. checking the uh, okay, dead well, orc. We okay, we, we, can't call it, we can't call it enhanced interrogation anymore. But I believe the new term is tactical baptisms. Right. Sounds about and right. Also, I mean, also, we have, like, yeah. all the gearmen that were with us just aim rifles, and I'm aiming a rifle as, as we're, like, moving him to this area. Yeah, as you can also... I, the only thing I was seeing earlier is about... You know, the, the pack earlier is because a bunch of gearmen was injured, so the bar is actually going to... What's going around and heal... And starting healing them. In fact, let me just see. Out of the ten gearmen that was in the battle, uh, two of them didn't make it. Hello? Hello? Uh, did I break something? Hello? The orc's body will have... Oh, okay. Life. Hey, you can you hear me? Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like I said, um... Out of the ten gearmen that was there before at hand, two of them didn't make it. Fuck. Hell. We're, burn we're burning the corpse of the, uh... Of the orc. We'll collect his gear and figure out what to do with it later on. For now, we've got Andre tied to a board in the dungeons of the castle... And we have, you know, b buckets and buckets of water to begin. All right. So, uh, I'll I'll obviously, Olga has to close this bar for the day to um, yeah. clean, clean up the up. blood bath. On his, yeah. Clean up the blood bath. So, yeah. So, what we'll do is also we're stripping Andre down to basically skivvies. Um, all of his stuff we'll identify later as well. Money, um, anything like that. Uh, Ty, quick question. Alright. Uh, Lord and Andre, we're talking about the assassin orc, right? No, no, Andre is the, uh, the uh, Andre is the person who hired him, hired him in the last minute to kill him, orca. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Andre's the bartender. Got, okay, the, so we the rival a... bartender to be, that, that lost his business. Alright, so yeah, we killed Brian. Not to deal with him, but now we have Okay. okay. Something just... tells me the siblings probably weren't a big fan of Brian to begin with. Yeah, so. Well, hey, we don't have to worry about Brian, so. <laughs> he He's now Mitten's, uh, he's in Mitten's tummy now. Yeah, part of him is, at least. Oh. So. Okay. so yep, yeah, uh, the green meat. So. Yep, so I'll, 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 you know, throw on, you know, the heavy apron and the gloves that I use for surgery and roll out my tools on a table. And this guy's, again, strapped to a board, uh, angled I'm in a certain way. And then I'm just sitting in a chair and you guys are all around because I'm sure you guys want to help out on this one because we've, we've had a lot of stuff go sideways recently and we really need to take it out on someone. Mm -hmm. so, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to whisper to you and um, be like, Try to find out how he was able to contact Brian. Oh, that, that, so, oh that's my first question. So, we're, we'll wait for him to wake up. Uh, he wakes up. I can do that um, easily. 
I just grab him by the balls and start squeezing to eventually. Oh, oh God. God. I'm not going to roll a check for that. He's just, he's just screaming. <laughs> yeah, so. Ah, you're awake. So, Andre, we need to talk. Uh, I'll tell you nothing, you second-hand um, gear man or wherever you are. I punch him in the balls. No, no. Wait, okay. Veb, I, I, I get it. You, 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 I, I'd like to try something new that's more possibly more effective. I'll then hand you oh. a um, I'll then hand you a rag, so, or like I tell you, put this over his face uh, and hold it so he can't move his head all that much. Okay. Okay. I place the uh, rag over his yeah. face. Yep, and hold and it make down. it so he can't really uh, do a whole lot of movement again. Wait, and I and I just start pouring water over where his mouth is and nose is. I'm basically waterboarding him. So this guy's basically, and obviously I'll tell them to stop when I'm worried about this guy, you know. Because uh, it, it simulates drowning and can cause someone to drown, so we'll make sure that he doesn't actually drown. So like 30 seconds, a minute yeah. at most? Yeah, something like that. Again, so then then you then you pull the rag off. His, uh, okay, so Andre, do you want to talk now? Because we can do this all night. We got, we've got plenty of water. And I've got nothing better to do. Veb, do you got anything better to do? Scrap? Well, no. it's the, I, pop it's, open, I pop open a can it's and just, start drinking. It's just business. Speaking of, how did yeah. you get that guy? Uh, Brian, was it? Brian, that was his name. What are you talking about? It's just a business. He, here's, a, here's a bodyguard I hired. Nothing more? <laughs> Uh, that no. I basically, I, I basically signal for, uh, for Veb to rec recover oh. his face, and he gets another Rack thirty. Gets covered again. Get rag yeah. face again. Yep, yep. Yeah, and we're we're just gonna keep doing this until he tells us. We're not we're we're not fucking around. We're breaking this man if we have to. And as a, I see well, or has his last. Rag gets lifted. I'm just looking and be like, "How did you contact Brian?" Uh, I was just con. I just asked for a job for the um black hand um black hand uh protection agency. That's all. Nothing more. Nothing less. <laughs> I look to the rag. I look to uh, William. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, no. Ty, I'm gonna try to remember, Ty. Do we? Did the Black Hand even offer protection, or are they mostly just a That That's their um. That's their covering. That's their covering. No. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna in look other words, in other words, obviously they're assassins, but in order to um, you know, not be arrested on the spot, they say um protection. I'm I'm gonna look at Kiri and be like, put the rack on him again. Yep. I put the rag on him. Round three. Uh, after that's over, I'm just going to look and be like, I'm not fucking stupid. I work with the black hands. They are not bodyguards. You going to tell us again? Uh, but tell you what? <laughs> They're bodyguards. <laughs> You know Jerry, that this no, round four. Round four. <laughs> I put the rack on the face and I unzip myself. And start oh. unleashing a golden shower. Oh. oh. And this oh. is where and, and this is where the car just runs clear across the room. What? Who runs across the room? Uh, obviously Nor. North. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're going to ask you again, Andre. Again, I worked with them. Are you sure that they are bodyguards? And trust me, I still have some more fuel in the tank. Because we know why you hired Ooh. Brian. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't for bodyguard work. All right, all right. Uh, I want to, um... I want to kill someone who... I want to, um... Take care of someone in Hope Valley that was um, annoying me, if you will. 
after that he he came by to he came by to um get his payment, and by then I realized I had a second child for him, so I asked him to um come by the bar to um take care of this one as well. In other words, he's the one who originally hired the person for Hope by in the first place. Yeah. I'm gonna look at Kiri and be like. I'm gonna just put the rag on, but carry one more time just because I feel like it. Okay. Oh god. Just emptying the tank. Ugh. And then after that's done, I'm gonna you No, know, I'm wearing gloves, so I'm gonna pick up like yeah. Oh, that one was because I didn't think you're lying, it's just because I wanted him to do that again, because what you did. Like what? This what? I'm not lying about it just being business. Oh no, I I just feel I just want him to do it yeah. again because of how much yeah. I hate you. Yeah. What you did. That that one that yeah. last one was fun. Now, we need to talk about a business transaction. More specifically, we own your bar now. Uh, no! No! Uh, Trust I'm, 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 me. I'm, it wouldn't be I'm, that I'm, difficult I'm, to go to the records agency and get a transfer of ownership. Obviously, I'm, I'm a heavy refinery pipe, but we could get your bar. I'm just gonna hold the rag in front of his face, like, you sure about that? Yeah. You know what? I feel like I need to also go as well, so are you sure you wanna say no? Uh, mittens. Uh, are you still hungry? <laughs> uh, Wait, what? What? You're gonna stream the. It's a pony! <laughs> that eats brains. I've watched, I've watched her crack open a man's skull and eat him out. Eat him out like, eat, it, eat out the brains like custard. It's quite, it was actually quite unnerving. Oh, and don't worry, don't worry about Brian. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's, he's helping Minns out. She was kind of pickish, so. So. Just start like the uh, fatty thighs. So, now, now you got to tell us where the deed to your bar is so we can collect our new bar. Where are uh, you hiding it? Deed? I say it's, deed? <laughs> I'll let, here's the thing. I'm willing to get, cut you a deal. Here's a bottle of Louis the Ace. It is a very good brandy. I'm willing to let you drink yourself to death in exchange for the deed. Otherwise, I will leave you and Mittens alone in a locked room. Intimidation with, with a very high advantage. Get a plus two for me. So Yeah, I'm also, I'm also, I'm also helping to be like, trust me. Uh, she gets very hungry. Yeah. Do you want to intimidate? Mm -hmm. Mittens will be assisting, obviously. Uh, Nor, where he says that's where he's just going to sit there and watch the chaos. Uh, 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 oh, yeah, plus oh, two, oh, so uh, 21. Summoned a creature. Summoned a really fucked up creature. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay, okay. 21. Okay, okay. He starts, he starts producing magic, and literally the deed pops into you. Pops into your, his hand. Okay. I grab the deed and I quickly look over it to see if it's legitimate as far as bar ownership goes. Uh, it's legit. It's legit. Seeing I, that you've seen Orca's and Emso's deed, that she knows that it's completely legitimate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And as such, I provide the bottle of Louis the Eighth. I put a funnel in the guy's mouth and I just slowly pour it. I'm going to hold his head down so he doesn't shake and lose the funnel. I promised. I am a man of my... I am a dwarf of my word. You will enjoy the, probably the smoothest brandy you have ever had in your life. And I'm going to just keep pouring a, a, what is essentially a 750 milliliter bottle of uh, brandy down his throat. So he's going to be super drunk. I'm pretty sure at that point he'd be suffering liver failure. Well, my, well, once he's the super drunk, I'm just going to be chucking him into the room with the succubus. Might as well, you know, give her some food. 
<laughs> yeah. But yeah. Oh, yeah, it's not going to take him long. He's super drunk. Yeah. So once he, we'll cut him up. So okay, now we're going to take you to to a nice place to have a little bit of fun for you as we kind of lead him down one yep. of the hidden uh, corridors. Yeah. You know, rub his throat. Make sure he's still swallowing and breathing. Yep. There we go. Here, here's your room. Enjoy, enjoy your new roommate. Yep, and we just shove him in there and close the door. All right. So as you look, you as you double check the deed, you realize that he actually owns three bars, but all three of them are in Rose City. In other words, the, the cup, the capital of the um, Sorcerer Council. Mm. We might have it. it in. Exactly. I'm thinking we we make this. Um, we'll have Orca. Uh, you know. You know what? Next day we'll uh, we'll, we'll invite Orca to the castle. We we have business to speak with him about. All right. Um, obviously, he had to close his bar because he's the only. Yeah. Um, he is the only one walking there, and well, the and well, he starts to clean up the bloodbath. <laughs> Yeah, I'll I'll send a steam cleaning crew to uh, you know one, one of our clean one of our uh, some of our medical cleaning experts. Yeah, with the, volunteers yeah. to help. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He he has um he has to he has to he has to he has to bark to help to to look yeah. over them. Yeah, so I'm gonna go in 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 the in an in like a nice study. Well, I'll, I'll offer for Orca to sit down across from my desk and say, "Please sit down, Orca." Ah, uh, sorry, sorry about this. Sorry about the trouble. I didn't realize that that asshole was going to bring a fucking assassin to kill me. It, it's fine. It, believe it or not, it actually tied up a loose end we were worrying about. Completely unrelated, though. Instead, we have something else we want to show you, and I'll slide the deed across the uh, desk. Wait, these are Andre's deeds. <laughs> yes, we got them out of him before we, well, delete, removed him from existence. Mm. All perfectly legal. Yes. Now, you have experience running a bar. We own these deeds, and I'm sure you would like, you know, you would you would like additional money coming incoming, correct? Uh, yes, of course. I am a businessman. Well, then why not let us help you set up a, we'll call it a management company. Hmm. You train and oversee these bars. We own them. You train and oversee these bars. We own them. We bring we will, but we do want to bring in certain individual. Make sure certain individuals are working in certain places. If you know what I mean. I'm basically hint, hint, nudge, nudge. We're trying. We're kind of setting up a spy master thing, a spy thing. Keep an well, eye on stuff. Yeah. You did say my daughter from that king. Yeah. And admittedly, if. Some, if anyone, if he was going to need him, so I was cut his head off. So since yes. they seem we're going to prison as well, to be honest. Don't worry about the king. Don't worry about the king. He's not going to be an issue in the near term. I'm kind of, I'm kind of showing a few of my cards, so he could kind of pick up that I'm a. It, it, he could probably could pick up that I'm a bit of a different breed. At the same time, we as, want him to be as profitable as possible. Yeah. As as long as I as long as I get a cut, still need, of course. Still need some yeah. money. Of course. Get a yeah. yeah. Of course. You're our you're our friend, a, a partner, somebody that helped us out in the days when we initially came here. You're a confidant. Yeah. And I will happily get serve a bar under you. Yeah. And as I said, all we're asking in return is you make sure certain individuals that are trustworthy and loyal get certain positions we want to gain more information on certain groups out there keep an eye on things as you, as it were as long as, as long as I don't have to mess with the sorcerer council uh, I'll be fine I think we have oh, a deal well, yeah. very good and don't worry your do and don't worry about, and I can't say don't worry about your daughter but rest assured she will be kept safe and hidden until the king is dealt with. And anytime we have the opportunity, we will just try and make sure she is okay. Yeah. Especially Mittens. She's grown to really like her. She's a good girl. Uh, both 
Twelve Mittens in Epso. He she he 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 riches his pat mittens on the head. Yeah. No. Oh, by the way, where my dark attacker from? By the way, mm, associates of ours. You know what? I'll leave. Trust it. me, we've been concerned for her for a while, so we decided let's bulk up on security. We've we've all, we've always been keeping an eye on things around her. You know what? I'll leave her alone from that. <laughs> uh, now, if you gentlemen excuse me for one, I had to make sure. Oh, I had to uh, check on the the three new bars around there up north. That means I gotta get a passport. Ah, that's gonna be a pain. Uh, let me go to the castle. Well, the royal castle. Uh, ain't anything else, gentlemen? I believe that'll be that. Oh, um, here you go. As a sign of good faith, in addition to the expansion of the business. I hand Orca a bottle of Louis the Thirteenth. Yeah. He takes it and smiles like, you know, you know that, you know that um, generator you have it's brought me a lot of business and a lot of money. So, I I will really like to thank you. Provided that almost got me killed, but uh, whatever. <laughs> I mean that freaking I mean that freaking asshole. He talked about Andre. Try to blow up the generator with me by it one time. The the first time he met. Thank God the they got the bar calmed us both down. Or we wouldn't even have a bar. Well, he's dead now and you have and and those three bars are now in your under your management. Well, let me let me check to see what bars I have. I know nothing else you can engage in a nice little uh, contest. When it comes to Louis the Thirteenth, that you know, you can only either purchase a half ounce or one ounce shot, and the very last person who gets the who finishes off the bottle keeps the bottle. <laughs> That'll be good. Ah, I got I I need a laugh. I gotta go I gotta go register for our what you call it pass at the castle. So but, I'm, I'll take but, you. Uh, I, but hey, at least uh, you could. You're not a successful businessman if you don't have a couple people trying to kill you over how successful your business is. <laughs> uh, that's true. That's to show that you're a true businessman if you're if you're doing so good that other people are so jealous or mad at you they want to kill you. So that could be taken as a bad thing too. Uh, he 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 throws over his war hammer on his side like, don't worry, as long as I have this baby. <laughs> I have nothing to worry about. <laughs> it is a lovely weather. Yeah. This one my days of adventuring. You know, conquering demons, slaying dragons. And you crave the skull of an asshole. Yeah. Ah, my younger days. Ah, my younger. I miss my younger days. If if I was much younger, I would have cleared that assassins and what you call his heads off in one swipe. Oh well. And and he starts walking to the royal castle to get paper to to cross the river. I meant to um to get past the guard towers. Ah. Uh. So, anything else? <laughs> Nothing I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, I'm gonna... Uh, I'm just gonna... A friend, uh... Or just take care of Henry and, uh... Oh. Shh. Um, actually, there is something I want to do, but this is gonna be done between sessions. Specifically, it's seeing if I can find a specific wondrous item. Uh, uh, what, what's the level? I can just make it for you. It would be a a lesser belt. It would be a lesser medium belt. A belt of uh, mighty constitution. Uh, 
Uh, what what level do you want it at? Uh, plus four. That would be the lesser medium. Uh, how high okay. can you make it? Uh, I mean, I I think I can do a plus six, but that's but again, that's going to take me minimum eighteen days. In this case, let's wait until I have a bit more money. It'll yeah, it'll cost you. Oh, no, okay. Remember, uh, I'm I'm talking about the the. It takes me. I can do about if I rush it, it's two thousand gold worth of magic enchantment a day. With um, what was it? Uh, uh, but to you, it'll be eighteen thousand gold. That's the cost to do this. All right. So. Okay. So it's, just... only a C, it's only a CL eight, so that's easy enough for me to produce with a plus five even. It, and I don't, I don't have it. So that, okay, so it's going to be a. In that case, I'll just stick with the, like the ring of protection plus two and the amulet of natural armor plus two. Both are worth eight thousand. I can't make rings, but I can make the amulet for you. Okay, the amulet then. Okay. Yeah, you'll have to buy the ring elsewhere. So oh you well. said you, yeah, you said you said ring. Uh, sorry, not ring. Um, uh, what was it? Um, amulet of natural armor. Plus two. Yeah, plus two. Uh, that's an easy one. I could probably go higher if you wanted. Okay, then plus three. Yeah, so that, that'll cost you 9,000 gold. It'll take me nine days. No All right. Back. I'll transfer 9,000 gold to you. Yep, it immediately goes into that. So okay, never mind. Hold it. Uh, creator's caster level must be at least three times the amulet's bonus. Um, I can only do a plus two, so it'd be 4,000 gold. My bad. All right. I can upgrade it later on for you. Don't worry. Okay, so, yeah, so. four thousand then. Yeah, four thousand gold. It'll take me four days, and then I'll. And the thing is, it'll definitely have a steampunky style to it, just because that's my that's kind of his uh, uh, it, styling. So, so it, it'll be made out of um, it'll be made out. It'll be like machined metal, um, it, in the in the in the shape of uh, some sort of ant, like a. It'll, be, it'll basically be a machined bore. A machined boarhead amulet uh, that has runecraft in it. Okay, with that I have an AC of twenty-two. So yeah. Uh, Ty. Yes. Uh, you'll have to do it for me because I'm driving right now. Uh, I was gonna do training for my uh, sharpshooters, just do the annual training to try to get them up to level. So, can you do the roll for me? since I can't go on my computer. <laughs> I think it was like a plus 10. Oh yeah, your sharpshooters are... Your sharpshooters uh, were like... Yep. Let's just... Let's just say that it's not in the... It's not in the twins level yet, but... Um, they're very. Yeah. They're starting to get very good. Yeah. Uh, what was yeah. the number that you rolled? Fifteen. With, oh, 15. with, with plus with plus ten. Oh, okay. So so, so yeah, twenty this... so twenty six so twenty so twenty <laughs> Damn, so twenty five. Damn, see, well, you're. <laughs> give me some more time. I'll give you some of the best damn sharpshooters you've ever seen. I'm also going to um. Oh, that was just it for the train in. But yeah, and then also just take care of her and Henry, and uh, I'm gonna think of a little competition for uh, the invisible scroll because I have no use for it. But if one of my sharpshooters, or actually, how many sharpshooters can use magic, and how many of them want it? Mm -hmm. uh, well, they're pro they're probably straight gunslingers. Yeah, but Remember, three, of them can use use. Use ma three of them can actually use magic. Yeah. Uh, does all th do all three of them show interest in one in the scroll? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, I'll be holding. I'm basically gonna be holding like a competition. Uh, it's gonna be just. There'll be like a couple stages. One which is like, oh, shoot a target this far away. Shoot a moving target, and then. 
see how good you are camouflaging without the scroll. Basically, just hold a little competition just to see if who is worthy of having it. Uh, that way I don't show any favorites. I would did this other time. Uh, what is yes, what actually, saying? Uh, well, I just got to my other work site, so I'm going to get off. I don't know if we're going to continue. No, I think this is probably the... Yeah, it's, right. it's good for this time. All right. Well, I got to get going here. You uh, Before, before you go, um, congratulations. Because of the chaos I sent for you for the last two days, Two yeah. two sessions. You're all level eight. Yeah, I win. Uh, let me let me double check what that means in certain aspects. Nice. Yeah. Now I can, well, walk, now I can I, walk off. Yeah. At least we got rid of Brian for how annoying he. I was hoping to maybe try to turn him, but that's not gonna work. He was too much of a loose cannon, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Here is once once once. The only thing you can remember is once he's once he's talking to our client, he will not let go unless he has no choice. Which why uh, which why which why smoke bombs to escape. I I will be taking like. Uh, does anyone want smoke bombs? I'll replicate them. All right, I'll take. Oh, 15 oh one last thing. Um, kill it, kill it, sh shotgun, last right. I, well, I was about to say you need a leather level even to try to to try to figure out what's the mix, but I just gave you a level, so um, yeah. Also, uh, how good is uh Brian's scythe? Uh, magic, magic plus two, literally, literally the literally the ability to cut through armor if he commands it. Who needs? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that was Brian special. It, it didn't matter if it was a paladin or a regular person; he still cut through them like butter. Butter, like butter. Yeah, he he would. Uh, sad to see him dead, but it's business. Better him than you. Yeah, just hoping the twins out there are doing all right. Well, we've got them on lockdown for now, so I'm not worried about them too much. I was going to look at Kiri and be like, if you thought my cooking was good, Kiri, wait until you taste theirs. I trained them. Uh, nice. Just to give you guys a heads up, um, I do have a new vehicle now. It's a Thunder Cycle. Um, and it is... It, it's quick. It's going at speed 90. Oh, gee. All right. I got to go in here. I, have, I, thought I have the care. fastest thunder cycle of all. All shall fear me, for I have a fast thunder cycle. Oh, boy. All right. You guys take care. I got to get going. All right. I'm going to get out of here and get some dinner ready. Have a good one. Yep, see you later. I'm going to lay Bye. down let this, the rest of this medicine run through me. And then I'm going to figure out what the hell up. What the hell did Uber drop off in my house? <laughs> God, I didn't, I didn't even bring it up. My mom eventually brought it up. <laughs> and since it's like almost 50 dollars worth of food, I want to see if I can eat some of it without dying. <laughs> so yeah, take care, fellows.